everybody will look at you and wonder why are these guys things going welcome boys welcome girls today we're gonna talk about praying for children there is power when you pray according to the word of god if you pray following the example in the bible your prayer will never get out of fashion you may use ephesians 6 verse 1 to 3 as a guy when you pray for yourself or you pray for your friend or your a parent praying for your children ephesians chapter 6 verse 1 children Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may have a long life on the earth. So when you pray for yourself, pray that you may obey your parents at home, your parents at school, and your parents at church. And when you obey your parents, things will go Everybody will look at you and wonder, why are these guys things going? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even, even month end, month beginning. Every time, your things will eventually just go. Just because you're obeying your parents. I will show you now how to pray Ephesians 6 verse 1 to 3. Father God, I pray that you may please help me to respect my parents, whether it be at home, at school, at church, and even other places. I know at times it's hard, at times it's tough, at times it's, it's costly, but God, I pray that you may please help me to be the obedient child, because it's worth it. If I become the obedient child, my things will go well, and I will live long on earth, and things will go well for me. I ask for all this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's as easy as that. All you do is look at the verse, understand the verse, and pray the verse. If I can do it, then you can do it. The last person we are going to pray like is Jabez. Have you ever heard of something called the Jabez prayer? Well, that's what we're going to pray. The Jabez prayer. This is one prayer that you need to master and pray like. In the book of 1 Chronicles 4, 10, you'll find the prayer of Jabez. Jabez prayed and said, O oh Lord, bless me big time. Bless me indeed. Bless me in a big, mighty way. Enlarge my territory. That means promote me, make me bigger. Uh, give me more responsibilities. Enlarge, enlarge, enlarge. It also means give me big, give me more. Give me big, give me more. Promote me, enlarge. That's what enlarge my territory means. Give me big and give me more. May your presence be with me. So the presence of God was with Joseph and everything went well. So the presence of God was with David and everything went well. The presence of God was with Daniel and everything went well. Moses was actually the first guy to say, God, if you're not going with me, if your presence is not going with me, <clears throat> I'm not going at all. So that's why Jabez asked God for his presence to be with him because everything went well for Joseph, Daniel, David, and Moses. We should also ask God to be with us so everything well may go for us. God does not have favorites. So what he did on the left, he'll do on the right. What he did for Daniel, he'll do for me. And what he'll do for me, he'll do for you. Keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. That's the Jabez prayer. It's basically, bless me indeed, enlarge my territory, be with me and keep me from evil. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to pray the Jabez prayer. Oh Lord, bless me indeed, enlarge my territory, be with me and keep me from evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. So today we've learned how to pray for children and also how to pray like some people in the Bible. See you again next time.